So today's video is going to be a quick one. It's kind of a continuation of uh, the first Android build we did. Uh, if you can't tell, we're on our way to the bus stop. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a continuation on the Android build. Um, once you've got that first video done where you've set your phone up for Android, uh, go ahead and do this one here. It's going to set up the Unity Remote. And I believe it's actually called Unity Remote 5 now for Unity 5. And basically what it does is it allows you to go ahead and test builds without actually doing a build. But we'll see how it works in, well, the video. I'll see you there. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how to install the Unity Remote for Android. And this will allow us to control our games or at least to test our mobile games. In the editor, using our mobile device without actually having to go ahead and make the build, deploy, you know, make it make uh, your, your test on your device. Something needs to be changed. You gotta go back to the editor, make your changes, compile it again, build it, deploy. This can make things a little bit quicker when you just wanna test those features. Now it's not as fast as actually making a, an actual build and deploying it, but using it just to test stuff, it's perfect for that. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to get it. First off, it's free. I'm actually gonna pull up my phone here. Yay, we now have screen capture for our phone. I'm gonna go into the Play Store and just go ahead and search for Unity. Remote 5. We'll go ahead, open that up. I'll install it. Now I have had it installed on this device before. It does ask for permission in order to use your camera and everything else. And just go ahead and let it. So I'm just gonna go open this up right from the store. Yeah, and right here. I don't know why it needs my location in that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say yes. Allow it to take pictures and record video. And here we go, start it up. I'm just gonna turn this sideways here. I'm gonna move this out of the way, but take note that it says that it has to be connected through the cable. If one of the things, if you can't get it to work, uh, sometimes the cable you have isn't really a data cable. It could just be a charging cable. So try to use the cable that came with your phone. This has actually bit me a few times. You know, you buy those cheap cables off of Amazon, you get them, they charge your device just fine, but when you hook it up and try to actually do something with it, as far as data goes, it doesn't work. But anyway, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. It said to go into, well, I guess I should point that out. It says to, to go into edit, project settings editor, which I will. So project settings editor. And what you want to do is take this device parameter here, drop it down to any Android device. And there's a few options under it here. You can go ahead and downsize the resolution to make it a little bit snappier. And if you don't actually want it to control your scene, you can go ahead and say, I want all the input to be local, but just mirror it over to my, uh, my device so I can see it. I'm actually gonna leave it on remote for now. And let's make the screen just a little bit smaller here. Just so I can bring this back in. Nope, not centered. Let's actually put it up here. I'm gonna come over to the game window as well. I'll hit play. It'll take a second to, to actually show up here once the game starts. And I'll bring it to the front. And here we go. I'll touch the red button now. So I've got a little bit more delay in the display up here because I'm wirelessly streaming my display to my iMac but the actual delay between hitting the button and having it change my game view is pretty quick. Let's go green. Now, red, green, red, green. It's not that bad. There is a slight delay, but like I said, it's not meant to actually play your games on. It's just meant for testing and debugging stuff. And this is also a great way to go ahead and well, test out the actual mobile controls you're setting up. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to go ahead and make sure that you knew how to use the Unity Remote as it really can speed up your mobile game development. Anyway, let me know down below what you think of it. Are you gonna use it or do you just not care? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube and go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>